Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Basic Recipes. I have another Halloween episode for you all. Today we are going to do something really fun and I'm super excited to show you how to do this. We are going to make some uh, Mad Scientist potions today. And what you're going to need are some different size jars. Doesn't matter. Um, I chose these because they look more like um, scientist flask. And I thought these would be really cool for the experiment. And I've got a really big one here because you're going to use a ladle to drink. Because this is an actual drink, you're going to use a ladle to dip it out and put it in your cups for your Halloween party or whatever you're going to do with it. So you're going to need different size jars. And I've labeled my jars like Vampire Tonic, Monster Mixer, Witch's Brew, and Zombie Toxic Punch. I've already got my sugar in here because what we're going to do is fill it up with Kool-Aid. So I've got my sugar and my Kool-Aid in. This one for the Vampire Tonic, we're going to use Cherry Kool-Aid. It's going to be red. And for the Monster Mixer, we are going to use Peach Mango, which is the only orange color that I could find. I definitely wanted to do orange. And for the Witch's Brew, we have Grape Kool-Aid. And for the Zombie Toxic Punch, we're going to use Green, which is Lemon Lime flavor. Now also, what you're going to need to give it the smoky, cauldrony type effect you're going to need some dry ice. Now dry ice is very cheap. It's only about a dollar a pound. I got three pounds for three dollars earlier today. Um, it's not very difficult to find. You can't find it everywhere, but it's not hard to find. I found this at Harris Teeter. Just go up to the customer service desk and ask them and they'll give you however much you need. You're going to need an ice pick to um, break it up. And to be safe, you're going to need um, some safety goggles and some pretty thick gloves because if the dry ice touches your skin it can burn you really really bad you do not want to do this with your bare hands never ever touch dry ice so let's go ahead and get started we will mix the water in and get our kool-aid colors going Alright, all my drinks are mixed, so now I'm just going to get my safety equipment on and chop up my dry ice. Be right back with you guys and show you how much to put in and what to do after that and what it looks like when we're done. Okay, I've got my dry ice cut up, so I'm going to show you what this does. We are going to start with the big one. Get you some tongs and drop it in the Kool-Aid. mad scientist halloween drinks i hope you enjoyed this video and remember that this is completely drinkable it's completely safe just remember whenever you ladle out your drink don't ladle out the um dry ice because you definitely don't want to drink that or touch it to your lips and also you could wait until it completely dissolves that's fine this is good for a kids party good for adult party you can play with the smoke really fun you could put this in a witch's cauldron if you really wanted to and it could be um, a witch's brew that's fun i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you next week with another halloween episode thanks guys for watching bye